Project 50, Wall Light Show. We are going to build this circuit. We use just one base grid. However, we will use two vertical snap wires to place the color LED on. And then we put the line lens over it. And when I turn on the switch, there's going to be a light show on the wall. This project is similar to the ones in which we use the projector, but this is without the pictures. We can rotate the line lens to change the angle of the patterns on the wall. Sorry about my fingers getting in the way, but like, there you have it with the wall light show. Project 51, wall projector. This project uses two base grids, two small base grids, and we will mount the white LED at the top of base grid A. Here's the finished circuit. And then once we have the circuit completed, we will place the projector over the white LED and have the red knob face to the left. With the projector attached, place the circuit by a wall and we will turn out this light before turning on the slide switch. Now it's recommended that you use a white wall or a white box for projecting the images because they work best for any project in which you have to project light or images because they have the best effects. You can see all the colors uh, better. Here's the solar system. We're going to flip through the six images contain that the projector contains. Flowers the earth, fish, fireworks, snap circuits, and back to the solar system. Project 52, dim color light. We're going to build this simple circuit and turn on the slide switch. The color LED comes on, but you may tell that it is not very bright. I'm going to turn this light off so you can see better. But when we hit the press switch, the brightness increases significantly. Release the press switch and the brightness decreases again. Resistors are used to control or limit the flow of electricity like I said. And now you can get an idea of what resistance is by taking and rubbing your hands very fast. They will feel warm because you're creating friction. You're converting the effort of rubbing your hands into heat. Resistance is the electrical friction between an electric current and the material it is flowing through. So that's why electricity cannot flow as well when there's the more resistance there is. Project 53. Dim white light. We will replace the color LED with the white one and turn on the slide switch. Once again, the white LED is not as bright when the press switch is not being held, but when it is, there's a great difference in the light output that the white LED produces. Release the press switch and it's very dim. Project 54, light controlled light. We will build this basic circuit, which consists of the color LED with the holder attached to it and the phototransistor. When we turn on the slide switch, the 
brightness of the color LED will depend on how much light is on the phototransistor. The more light there is on it, the brighter the color LED will be. We're using the attachment because it will be easier to see the color LED if it is dim. I'm going to put my hand over the phototransistor now and the color LED goes off completely. Remove my hand and when light reaches the phototransistor, resistance decreases and the color LED becomes brighter. Project 55, light controlled white light. We are going to use the same circuit but replace the color LED with the white one. We will place the Q4 attachment over it and turn on the slide switch. The principle is similar. The more light there is on the phototransistor, the brighter the white LED will be. Then covering it will turn it off. However, the white light requires more light on the phototransistor to turn on, but it gets brighter when there is a lot of light. So when I cover the phototransistor, it is actually harder to turn off. Even if my hand fully covers it, it's still, there's still a little bit of light coming from it. Project 56, dim green light tunnel. We will use this circuit and look at the light tunnel. You will see that the green LEDs of the light tunnel are on, although they're very dim. And the slide switch is not even on. But we will now push the press switch. And now the red LEDs come on, the green ones turning off. The red ones are still very dim, but nonetheless, they you can still see them. When you release the press switch, the green ones come back on. Will the red ones turn off? Now when I turn on the slide switch, what is supposed to happen, and you probably will not, it probably will not be as there's not a lot of energy, the blue LEDs are supposed to come on. But the 5.1K resistor, the R3 resistor, is just greatly limiting the current flowing through the circuit. And so the LEDs will be very dim. The current is split up between the three batteries. One battery will power each LED in of a certain color. So that's why the LEDs are very dim. Now it's important that when you're done with this circuit, you have to disconnect the batteries because the slide switch will not turn the circuit on and off. 57. Dim red light tunnel. We will swap the locations of the press switch and three snap wire and observe the light tunnel. Now only the red LEDs are on and the press switch is not activated. Let's see what happens when I hit it. Nothing. The red LEDs remain on and the others stay off. Now I will turn on the slide switch and yet there's no change in color. That's because the red LEDs are much easier to power up. They require the least amount of current to turn on. And so all, almost all electricity from the batteries will flow through the red LEDs if you turn on the press or slide switches. So really the switches have no effect for this project. 58 dim blue light tunnel we will replace the we will swap the locations of the press switch and three snap wire and now with both switches off when we look at the light tunnel only the blue leds are on the others are off now i'm going to hit the press switch and the blue leds turn off while the red ones come on release the press switch and the blue ones come back on. I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Now the green LEDs come on while the blue ones switch off. With the press switch activated, I'm going to, I mean the slide switch activated, I'm going to hold down the press switch. 
the red LEDs come back on. When I turn off both switches, the blue LEDs will light up again because only they are able to receive the electric current from the batteries. The other switches, which power the red and green LEDs in this circuit, are off. 59. Bright Light Tunnel. We will replace the 5.1K resistor with a solid 3 snap wire, and with both switches off, the three green LEDs are on at full brightness. We will turn on, we will hold down the press switch, and now the red LEDs come on. Well, the green ones remain on as well. Now when I turn on the slide switch, the blue ones light up. Now all LEDs of the color tunnel, of the light tunnel, are on. That is because the resistor is no longer, is no longer in the circuit, and therefore there's nothing to limit the current flowing through. So all the LEDs light up completely. And when you use the switches, the green LEDs do not turn off so that the other ones can come on. There's enough current to power them all at once.